Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn with Sumi. In this video, we are going to find or we are going to learn to show that the pair of curves intersect each other orthogonally. Okay, so the curves are given as r is equals to 4 secant square theta by 2 and r is equals to 9 cosecant square theta by 2. Okay, I have done the similar problems. Uh, in my previous videos also how to find the angle between radius vector and the tangent and also how to find the slope of the tangent and now I'm doing the orthogonally whether the curves intersect orthogonally or not okay so you can go back you can check my entire playlist it is based on this completely module one of uh, calculus in uh, engineering mathematics okay I have done it already so if you have seen all those videos it is very easy for you to understand okay i'll just do it even though if you do if you haven't seen any of my videos if you're watching this for the first time and if you know a little bit of differentiate uh, differentiation it is more than enough okay so i'll teach you here step by step i'll not miss even one single step so first step is what i'll take log on both sides first this is the step one what do we do we first take take log on both sides okay here as well take log on both sides now this how should we write it log r is equals to log 4 secant square theta by 2 okay here log r log is equals to log 9 cosecant square theta by 2 we know the formula, we know the formula log A into B can be written as log A plus log B. And also we know the formula log A to the power B can be written as B log A. So using those, these two formulas, okay, we will expand this more. Like log R is equals to log 4. A is what? 4 and B is secant square. Theta by 2. So, plus log secant square theta by 2. Correct? Here as well, log r is equals to log 9. This is a and this is b. Plus log cosecant square theta by 2. Done? This much is done. Now, what do we do? This is what? Log secant square. So, log a to the power b is b log a. So, can I expand this more? Like log r is equals to log 4 plus 2 log secant, sorry, 2 is here, secant theta by 2. Here log r is equals to log 9 plus 2 log cosecant theta by 2. It's clear, right? Now the expansion is done. After expanding, take, first we'll take log and expand it. Then we differentiate with respect to theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. So here 1 by r differentiation of log r is 1 by r into dr by d theta is equals to differentiation of a log constant. 4 is a constant. So this is going to become 0 plus 2 into log secant theta by 2. This we can write it as secant theta by 2. Correct. Now differentiation of secant theta if you know, differentiation of secant theta if you know, then it is nothing but secant theta into tan theta. Correct. So I will write it down here. Secant theta by 2 into tan theta by 2. This is done. Now differentiation of theta by 2 is what? 1 by 2. Okay. Now I will differentiate log r. So 1 by r into dr by d theta is equals to 0. Log 9 is what? Differentiation of log 9 is 0 plus 2. Log of cosecant theta by 2. I can write it as 1 divided by cosecant theta by 2. Now differentiation of cosecant theta by 2. If you know cosecant theta, differentiation of cosecant theta is minus cosecant theta into cot theta. Okay. So, I can write it as minus cosecant theta by 2 
into cot theta by 2 into differentiation of this uh, theta by 2 is what? 1 by 2. Now, I can write this as cot phi 1 equals to 1 by dr by d theta is what? Cot phi. So, I will write as cot phi 1 2 secant theta by 2 into tan theta by 2 whole divided by this 1 by 2. 2 I will write it here secant theta by 2. Okay. This I will write it as cot phi 2. Okay. Is equals to minus 2 cosecant theta by 2 cot theta by 2 whole divided by this 1 by 2 here to cosecant theta by 2. Understood? Now I can cancel this 2 2. I can cancel this secant theta by 2 secant theta by 2 cot phi 1 is what now? Tan theta by 2. Here cot phi 2 is what? 2 and 2 can get cancelled. Cosecant, cosecant will get cancelled. Minus cot theta by 2. We know that cot of minus theta is minus cot theta. Correct? And I want to write this tan in terms of cot. So, what I can do? Cot phi 1 is equals to cot this is a positive, right? So, this is the first quadrant. So, first quadrant is what? Pi by 2 minus theta by 2. Okay. In terms of cot, I have written this. Here, I can write it as cot phi 2 is equals to cot of minus theta by 2. So, here phi 1 is pi by 2 minus theta by 2. Here, phi 2 is minus theta by 2. Okay. Now, to show that it is intersecting, the curves are intersecting orthogonally. We have to do five, uh, 5, 1 minus 5, 2. Right? If it is equal to pi by 2, which is 90 degrees, then we will conclude it as the curves are intersecting each other orthogonally. Okay? Is equals to, now modulus 5, 1 is what? Pi by 2 minus, pi by 2 minus theta by 2. Pi by 2 minus theta by 2 minus this minus okay minus theta by 2 so theta minus theta by 2 which is nothing but pi by 2 minus theta by 2 plus minus into minus is what plus plus theta by 2 so these two will get cancelled the difference is what modulus of pi by 2 which is pi by 2 correct so can I say the angle of intersection is pi by 2 so thus Thus, the curves intersect, the curves intersect each other orthogonally, orthogonally. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my uh, explanation, do not forget to subscribe, like. And share it with your friends. And if you have any doubt, just write in the comment section and get back for uh, clearing that doubt. Okay. Thank you so much.